I mean, um, again, you 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 gave us an earful, and I, I want to zone in on something because somebody needs to hear and understand this. Like all the glitters ain't gold, but there's a lesson in everything. Um, it is. You you were blessed. Um, you took which from the surface it was a great deal. I probably would have made the same deal. Like yo, I I, I don't need your advance. I don't need the upfront money. Mm -hmm. Give me a bigger portion of the back end. That's very mm -hmm. similar to the deal that um cash money signed. Yeah, that's why. Yes, yes. So, so I know you had to be influenced by that deal. And then to me, to know Dino is you know to know the real ins and outs of that deal. That's why I was like, yeah, for sure. Give me straight distribution. I want to come through. I'm finna, I got the, I got the city on lock. I'm about to do my thing, and it just uh. It just wasn't it, it wasn't in the cards for me to be able to keep doing it with with with, with TVT. Um, but you know, it, but so I just did said, you ever did you get ever get any royalty? And first and foremost, how many no. records did you sell under that deal? And number two, did we, you ever get any royalties? Nothing. We sold two hundred thousand records uh, through that deal. Uh, Skinny Pimp did like seventy thousand, and that guy did like over a hundred thousand, and um, and we didn't get no royalties. Hold on, hold on, slow down. At all. You sold 200,000 records under that deal and you never got one royalty check? Not one. Not one. And, okay, so and even before you turned in, I mean, I get it. Your, your first project is Skinny Pimp. Before yeah. you turned in Gotti's joint, you wasn't like, yo, where, 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 where my money from Skinny Pimp we, at? We, we, we was back to back. We was like, we did, we did Skinny. And then we did right behind it, we did yo, you know what I'm saying? Like bam, bam, like you know what I mean? So that we felt like, okay, after nine months and it's time to pay, it's like I will have a double up coming, you know what I mean? So, you know, when we get 75% of the profits, I thought it was gonna be gravy. Now, me being young, me putting every dollar I had into this, into uh the Gotti thing, and and then there were things that took place in Memphis, like my business partner. Um, he ended up, you know, when when TVT was playing with the money, he tried to make a move with the business money, he ended up getting getting jammed up. So I lost like 150,000 in one day and then TVT didn't pay me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh my, I'm on my ass. But the music is is naturally distributed and getting out there or whatever and shit, but I'm battling with Steve Godley and he know that, my, that we just took an L in Memphis on some dope shit, so it was like, it just ended up like, you know, he 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 just ended up signing Gotti directly. And then Gotti was going through some street shit. So, too, so what was your what was your fallout with Gotti? Did, did Gotti look at it like, yo, you not paying me? Nah, I, I think I, nah, nah, I think what it was, it was more like, it was like, okay, we fell out over um uh, over something very petty, I think. You know what I mean? It was like the DVD being the side of his CD. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I think it's just the cross marketing of what I was doing. So it wasn't because even the money. It wasn't even the money at the time because at the time mm -hmm. we didn't we we fell out right when the CD came out. So it, we it wasn't even time to get paid yet. But it was like over time he seen like okay, TVT bad business. You know what I'm saying? And you know maybe he did think that it was I was getting some bread or something like that or whatever. Maybe that was the case, but like nah, it never ended up being that. TVT did bad business, never got paid. I got broke to the point where I lost my car, my house, everything. But the smartest thing I what I kept was my wife. She stayed with me the whole time, and um, we together to this day. And like I said, that DVD that I put inside that CD, that saved me because people will saw what I what my worth was and they saw and you can still stream it to this day. It's just a Ken Folks DVD that's inside of the Yo Gotti joint. It's online now. I think people post it online now so you can see it. But it's like those junks saved me. Them young niggas was calling me like come do my album, bro. I got five thousand for you. I'm on the car in my wife's car at the time, pulling up to him to get that bread and get back on my feet. And then the chat she had left three six mafia and came to me to put out an album. Even though I was on my ass but she had a name, so I was able to put out an album with her. I did a record with her, me and Mike Jones. I got an investor, and we ended up doing like 30,000 records with her album, Dramatized. Uh, Dramatized, I'm going to re-release it on that on the streaming platforms this year. But like, we put that out through Selecto Hits, and that got me back on my feet. After that, I was like, man, I got to put out my own shit. You know what I'm saying? But battle with TVT for years over that shit, bro, and still couldn't get 
couldn't get no money out of it and just throwing money towards it or whatever, bro. So in, in ultimately when they fold, I was able to get the rights to to the life album. So I got that, you know what I mean? And, you know, so we, you know, was able to keep putting that out, distributing that or whatever and stuff. But other than that, bro, it's like no Roy just came from back then with all them, all them physical products that we sold through them or whatever. It was just a horror story. I got, I was bent, broke on my ass, but was able to get back up, you know what I mean? Put that little chat album I put out, and then I put out my own solo shit and got my own deal and, you know, and, and, and built it back up from there. Yeah, that's a, that's a dope story. And that's a story people need to hear because again, all the glitters ain't gold. Sometimes people look, you you riding around, you, you got your tour bus, Mm -hmm. um, you got you got you got the rap vans. You you the CEO. You got a distribution deal with 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 a with a with a label that's popping at that time. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I catch you all on the next video.